Now we know how to create, read, and update records, we're going to look at the final thing we need to do, and that's destroy or delete records. And I'm going to show you two ways we can do this. So for, on the first example, let's say we want to delete this poppy record right here. What we can do is, because we have the name poppy right here, we can find that record and then delete it. And Mongoose has a one-step solution for this, which is called find one and remove. And I'll show you how it works. So again, we have the person model here. So you call the find one and remove on the person model. And as a first argument, you give it an object with the, the uh, query properties. And we want the name to be equal to poppy. And the second argument, you give a callback function that takes in the error and the data. And the data this time is the deleted record. We don't really need to do this part, but um, this what's in this function isn't important. It's just this part that's important. So I'm just going to do, if there wasn't an error, I'm just going to console log the deleted record. So let's try running this now. So it's example.js right here. So we might have to wait for it a little bit. And we can see that our poppy record has been returned right here. And if we go over to the database and we refresh it, we can see that the poppy entry has been removed from our database. So we've essentially deleted that record. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is Let's say we have this Quincy record right here, and we know the ID, but we don't know any other properties. And given that each ID is unique, we can use this to select and delete an entry based on the ID. So the method for this one is called find by ID and remove. And the way you would do that is once again, you call it on the model, which is person here. And you would say person dot find by ID and remove like this. And as the first argument, you give the ID of the, the person you want to delete or the record you want to delete. And then once again, we have a func callback function that takes in an error. And again, it has the deleted record. And this deleted record is really not important because once it's been deleted, there's not really any use for it, but we have to provide it if we want this to work. And again, if there wasn't an error, what I'm going to do is look at the deleted record. So let's see what happens. So if I save this now and I start up the script, we can see that we still get a warning, but our Quincy date record has been returned to us. And if we go up here and just refresh it, hopefully that should have worked as well. And yeah, we can see that the Quincy record has been destroyed from our database. So that's essentially two ways to delete data. So now let's look at the challenge. And what they want us to do here is in the, let me scroll down and find the right thing first. So this is gonna take a while actually. Um, so where it says delete one person, which is this right here, what we have is we have this ID field right here. and this function will take in an ID, and what we want this function to do is delete the entry from the people collection with that ID. So firstly, we wanna call the uh, find by ID and remove method on the, on the person. So we wanna find by ID and remove. I'm just gonna double check that that's what the method is called, yep. And as a first argument, we want to pass in the ID. And this person's ID will be taken in as a string in the form of this argument in this main function called person ID. So we can just give the person ID here as the ID. Next, we have the callback function which takes, which takes in the error and data. And again, if we have an error, we want to console log the error so we can find out what happened. Otherwise, so that's the else statement right here. We have the deleted record. So actually I'll change this data here to deleted record because that's that makes more sense here. And with this deleted record, we wanna give it to the done function again. And this since there's no error, so the first argument is null since it takes an error and data. And the data this time is the deleted record. And then what this will do is it'll return this as a JSON response to free code camp and they'll use that to check that we've done this correctly. 
So hopefully that should be everything we need to do here. So, oops, I need to make sure I comment this out so I don't repeat my previous mistake. And we can just copy the live app link and submit it here. And fingers crossed, yeah, that seems to have paid off.